In this video, we will learn how to factor special kinds of binomials. So remember, binomial just means there's two terms. So like 1 and then 2. 1 and then 2. So the first kind we're going to talk about is how to factor binomials that are um, set up as a difference of two squares. So first of all, no matter what the polynomial is, you want to check if there's a GCF. So if we look at our terms here, there is nothing in common, no, no greater factor other than 1. So then the next thing we're going to ask ourselves is how many terms are there? So there's one term here and two terms here. So what we have here is a binomial. And since this is a binomial, we're going to ask ourselves: is there anything times itself that will get us the x squared? And is there anything times itself that will get us 16? So for example, x times x is x squared and 4 times 4 is 16. So if you can find um, such numbers, then you are going to write whatever this is here and here. And then you're going to drop the 4's in, and you're going to make 1 positive 4 and 1 negative 4. And that is what this is telling us right here. It's saying to keep the first numbers the same, so that's what the A part is saying. And then the B part of this formula is saying make them opposites there. So one positive and one negative. Now if you do check this, x times x, if we check if this really works, x times x is x squared, and then x times negative 4 is negative 4x, and then 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So as you could see, these cancel, and all you're left with is our original polynomial. So it works. Okay, we take a look at this example first thing, see if there's anything that can be factored out. So I know that 2 can go into both of these, so I'm going to pull out the 2. Okay, then the next thing to see if it can go any further, you ask yourself how many terms are there. There's one here, and that's 2. So since there's a 2, you're going to look, is there a minus sign in between? Because this will only work if there's a minus sign in between the, two, the binomials. So since there is, then you ask yourself, is there anything squared that will get you those two terms? So I know that x times x is x squared, and 3 times 3 is 9. So that 2 doesn't go anywhere, it stays, and then we're going to put the x here and here. And then we're going to drop this down and make 1 positive and 1 negative. Okay, let's try another one here. So first of all, let's see if there's anything that can be factored out. So nothing goes into both of these. The next thing is we need to ask ourselves, is there anything that can be squared that multiply to make x squared, so yes, and 9, yes, but we have a problem here. There's a plus sign. There has to be a minus sign for this to work. So therefore, this one cannot be factored. There's no GCF that can be factored out. So this one is not factorable. Um, the common mistake I'll see with students is they put this. They put x plus 3 times x plus 3, which is wrong. Let's see why. So if we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 3x, and then 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then these two combine to make 6x. And as you can see, it is not what we started with. So this does not work. So it is not factorable when there's a plus in between. Okay, we take a look at this one, and first of all, this is the highest exponent, so I'm going to pull out a negative, and then I know that 3 can go into 3 and 12, and they have x's in common, so I'm going to pull out the smallest exponent is a 1. And then negative 3x times x squared gets you this, and negative 3x times negative 4 will get you that. So then the next thing is, when we look inside the parentheses, there's 1, two terms, and there's a minus in between them. When that occurs, you're going to ask yourself, is there anything times itself, is there anything squared that will get you x squared and 4? So I know that 
x times x is x squared, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this negative 3x is not going anywhere. We're going to put x here and x here, and then we're going to drop down the 2s and make one positive and one negative. All right, next thing. Um, now we have, as you could see here, now we have cubes before we had squares. So the next topic we're going to talk about is the sum or difference. So you can add or subtract cubes. So the first step, no matter what, is the same for all problems. See if there's anything in common that can be factored out. In this case, we're going to skip it. There's nothing to do with this problem, no common factors. So then the next thing you're going to do is, because there's a plus sign here, we know we shouldn't be looking for what number times itself. But since there's a plus sign here, we're going to ask ourselves, is there anything cubed? For example, x times x times x gets us x cubed, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we're looking at the x and the 2. If you times x three times and times 2 to three times, you'll get those numbers. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take parentheses, and since this is a plus, you're going to bring it down. And if this is a plus, the, the next sign here is going to be negative here. And the last sign here is going to be positive. So these are always opposites right here. This is always going to be opposite. These are going to always match opposite, and this is always going to be plus, always. So then what you do is you drop this down. So we put the x here and the 2 here. And then what you're going to do, what goes in the first position here, is this term here times itself. So x times x will go there. Then you're going to multiply these together. So x times 2 is 2x. That goes there. And then the last position, you're going to take this number here and times it by itself, which is 4. And that is how you factor a sum of cubes. Let's try another one here. So first of all, this is a binomial. There's one, two, two terms. First step is see if anything can be factored out, which there isn't, so we're going to skip that. There's nothing that divides into both of these. Then the next step is what times itself? Is there a number that if you multiply it three times will get you 125. So you're going to guess and check and try some numbers out and you will find that 5 times 5 would get us this number here. And then x times x times x would get us the x cubed. So in other words, 5x times 5x times 5x would get you would equal 125x cubed. And then we're going to ask ourselves what times itself three times is 1. So 1 times 1 times 1. So then you're going to put parentheses, set it up like this, and whatever this is, you're going to drop down. And then here, the next sign here is going to be opposite. So if this is negative here, this is going to be positive, and the last one is always positive. And if you look at our formulas here, it's always positive. Okay, so now we're going to bring down the 5x, and we're going to bring down the 1. Now what goes in the first position here is this number right here times itself. So 5x times 5x goes here. Okay, then our next position right here, you're going to take both of these and multiply them. So 5x times 1. And then what goes right here, in this spot, is this number right here squared. So 1 times 1. And that is how you factor a difference of cubes. Let's take a look at one last one here. So first of all, see if there's any common factors. So first of all, this degree right here is higher because 4 plus the 1 there is 5. And it's higher, and since this is negative, we're going to take out a negative. And then I know these are both even, so I'm going to take out a 2. They both have a's. This one's the smaller one and they both have B's. 
So then I'm going to have a cubed here because 3 plus 1 gets us this 4 here. And I don't need any b's because I already have a b here. And then a negative times a positive would get us that. And then 2 goes into 54 17 times. And it already has the A and the B from here when I FOIL it out or multiply it out. Okay, next we look in the parentheses and we see that there is one, two terms. When there's two terms you're looking, is there anything times itself or there, is there anything times itself three times that get you what's in the parentheses there? So with this problem, I know that A times A times A is A cubed. And I know that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So since I found such numbers, this negative 2AB is not going anywhere. It's going to stay. So I'm going to bring down the A. I'm going to bring down this plus here. And then the 3. And what goes in the first spot here? First of all, this is a plus sign right here. So since this is a plus sign, this is always going to be opposite. And the last one's positive. And what goes in the first spot here is when you take a times a. So we're going to put a squared here. And then what goes in the middle is when you multiply those two. So a times 3 is 3a. Three and what goes in the last spot is this last number, 3 times 3. And that is our factored. And it's been factored by, we use the GCF and the sum of two cubes.